how's everybody doing today? Uh, decided to try some new palettes. These are actually from Target uh, Liquidators. I believe I got these from Direct Liquidations. So I've never bought Target before, so I'm kind of excited to get in and see what these boxes have. Um, they're all unmanifested. I truly have no idea what's inside of these, um, other than a couple of pictures they have on their website. And they're very hard to see, you know, what's on a palette. So it's kind of a gamble. This particular palette I paid up on just because of these couple of the TVs that I saw. This is about, that's about the image I saw from the website. And I'm pretty good at picking out what items are. I could tell from one of the overhead pictures that this was a, a Dyson and I was right. And then the gear, that was all that was showing in the picture. And I know just from selling that that's net gear. So from telling from the size of that box, it's probably a pretty expensive router. Um, I haven't gone through this at all, so just filming like this, I can see a couple of Sony controllers, which is cool. So this box is gonna be fun to go through, I think. I think these Sterilite boxes are gonna be just packed full of random stuff. Now, now I did see these TVs and to be completely honest, I don't expect them to work. TVs, especially when they're laying down like this and have stuff stacked on top, most likely they're defective or have a bad screen of some sort. And then also I noticed this on the palette. I couldn't see this sticker at all in the pictures. So it says carton contains defective items, which, you know, you could expect some to be, but I, I highly doubt all this stuff's defective. Just depends on what the customer says. So once again, real quick, this is the view I had. So when I got it, there's two, what appear to be pretty high-end LG uh, TVs. And I didn't see that on the picture, so I hope these work. Um, they look like they're sealed from the factory if, if the customer didn't open it from the bottom. So that'll be interesting to get into there and see, uh, you know, if they're working out. And that's gonna, that's gonna be <laughs> very nice if those work. Um, I paid 480 for this palette. Uh, There's a 10% buyer's premium, which pretty much every single liquidation site has. So that's another $48. And then shipping on this particular palette. I got six pallets delivered for about 400. So, you know, divide that by six. So, you know, just, let's just say 75 bucks. So I'm into this pallet roughly 600 bucks. So, like I said, I just wanted to try something new. I bought four Target pallets. That's another one there. I'll let you know the prices on those as I get to them. And then there's another big one back there. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to get into Target. This one scares me. I, you know, as I said, you can't see what you're getting from the pictures at all. So I thought this was just gonna be boxes full of electronics or whatever at Target. And it looks like it's gonna be, you couldn't see this on the side. So this is all like shelving equipment, tags. Uh, let's see center dividers so this stuff might sell great or it's just gonna be a nightmare to get rid of i have no clue two foot riser metal risers yeah this one's this one's gonna be a weird palette all right enough enough babbling let's get into this palette. i'm pretty excited i hope some of the tvs work but i don't expect them to that's what I said to myself when I bought them. Because mainly I went off the Dyson and the Netgear. All right, here we have it. It's a giant pallet, so it's hard to get all that in the screen. I'll try to walk up and show you the items as I pull them out right in front of the camera. So wish me luck. I got $600 into this pallet. If those two LGs happen to work, you know, there's more than my money back, so. 
Cross your fingers for me. Slide this over. This is just the box on top. Uh, let me grab this nip here since it's going to fall off the back. Ooh, Nighthawk. I know that's a nice expensive router. So, like I said, I have no clue if these are new, used, shelf pools, broken. Let's take a quick look because I know these are a like couple hundred bucks by themselves. I'm get it out. I don't want to rip the box. Oh. Come on, it looks new for me. Oh wow, that's surprising and very disappointing. You can see that's what's supposed to be in there. Probably get $200. And someone did the good old switcheroo, put it back an old piece of crap. That's probably worth next to nothing. So, ooh, that hurts right off the bat. First item, it's not at all what I expected. So it went from probably probably like 200 plus to nothing, like literally nothing. I hope a lot of the stuff on here is not like that because that one hurts. That's ooh, that one does not make me happy. All right, next up we have a Norelco razor that automatically cleans itself. Definitely been opened. You can tell because they put their tape on here. Let's hope this thing's not disgusting or the wrong item. So at least in the bag and plastic, so that's good. That's possible. I'll check it later. It's possible that could be new because people hardly ever put stuff back in the plastic and neatly in the box. So I'll definitely inspect this later. Probably a good chance it's new once again, but good chance that it's not to. Let's see what this is worth. I know some of these razors could be up to a couple hundred bucks depending on the model. Let's hope this one is to make up for that. Ah, I can't believe the first thing I opened was the good old scan made by some customer. It's unbelievable. I, you think the target employee would open that and see that it's completely the wrong item. See what this goes for on eBay. Oh, that's a really good one. If it is brand new, which it could be, 169. 154. You know, I'll sell it as an open box if it is new because of this is easily over a hundred bucks. That's that's a good item. Granted it works and is new. Here's something going straight into the trash. Brita filter thing with a big giant crack. This is probably the main reason. Ooh, that's the V10. That's an expensive one. This is the main reason why I bought this pallet. Because I could tell it was a Dyson. Ooh, this thing could be. Could be new. It's got the tag still on it. It's to the machine. It's nicely packed with the paper protecting it. It's got these stickers. Everything's wrapped up in this paper. I think this is new, just damaged box. That's awesome. This is a V10. This is a very expensive uh, dice. I'm gonna look this up real quick. Cyclone V10 motorhead. So re brand new is about 400. 
open box 300 with bids pre-owned 250 plus so that's really good I, I, I really do think that's new um, the reason why they liquidate it because if it gets damaged like that in the store notice how the box is all mangled over there um, they can't sell it as new of course so they just liquidate it so that could be good another thing here that just looks like it got damaged in the back room and so they they have to get rid of it this is a revlon hair dryer and volumizer Ooh, i needed one of these that 60 bucks oh, this is good it's got both seals so i think this one's just been uh damaged in the store but i'm sure you guys want to know as much as me to see if that's true or not and the thing about this would be super easy to see if it was used because people would have their hair tangled in there yeah, this looks brand new. I don't see any hair in there. And it's in the wrapper. So I'll, I'll fully inspect it and test it before I sell it. But this could be another 40 bucks or so. That'd be good. I have a PS4 controller, the clear one. That's pretty cool. DualShock 4. A stupid fly in here attacking me. I just want to see real quick if it'll turn on. Most likely this was used in return. That's probably just dead, but feels really good. It doesn't even look used, to be honest. What do you guys think? I don't think that's been used either. That's cool. Looking really good, except for that damn neck gear. If that neck gear wasn't swapped out, this would be absolutely amazing already. But so far, I'm happy. The first few items, you know, this, this controller is worth a good at least 30 bucks even used. So, that's awesome. We have a little Echo Show. <laughs> I almost bought one of these last year. These aren't that expensive. I think they're about 50 bucks, but wow, so far so good. I'll test this out later and update it when I edit this video and try to put the prices that I get or what I think I can get. But I know this is about 50 bucks um, new or so, maybe even a little bit more. I might even just keep this if it works fine. I don't really have much Alexa devices. I have mostly Google. iPhone XR case, an extremely ugly one, but it's an OtterBox. OtterBoxes are pretty expensive. I'm actually pretty excited with this palette. Those TVs might be brand new. <laughs> that would be absolutely amazing if they are. Yeah, I'll look at this outer box later because it didn't pull up, but it might be worth like ten dollars. I'm really kind of thinking those might be new. They're in the boxes are in great condition. Brand if they're brand new. And there's two of them on there. Ho <laughs> ho. That would be awesome. But we'll get there and see. Cross your fingers for me. Do me a favor, please. If you like this video at all so far, smash that thumbs up and subscribe. So you can see I do all this at home. And if you like pallet unboxing and boxings, eBay sales, Amazon sales, this is definitely going to be a good channel for you to check out. I do this stuff all the time and I share all my results. I'm honest. And uh, yeah, it's the channel I would be looking for, that's for sure. All right, next item. This is just packed. This is amazing. This is a J Labs truly wireless headset. Probably not a very expensive one, it has been opened. I would, I'm just going to throw out a guess out there. This is probably about 20, 20 to $30 a target. Here's just a simple uh, micro USB cable. Probably I'll just keep that. They're, they don't have much value. 
There's a Apple Lightning to headphone jack. That's probably worth maybe five or ten dollars. What the heck? Hyundai. A power manufacturer with a tablet? Just some little some little tablet. Probably extremely cheap. Seven seven inch. So brand new, this is 80 bucks. So if it works, used, I'd say probably 40. 40 to 50 bucks. Probably, I might even be able to sell this locally on Facebook. Here's a Panasonic uh, home system for your phone. I have <laughs> probably 50 phone systems I have to go through and test. This is probably 30 to $50 at Target. Add this with my rest of my collection. Yeah, let me show you that real quick just for the heck of it. I'd say I got a few phones to test. What do you guys think? Those are all Panasonic's and VTEX. Definitely a lot of value there. It's just something I haven't got to. Let's keep going. This is exciting. I'm really, really liking this palette so far. And this is the first box. Ooh. VTEC baby monitor. That's going to be good, I think. For the sake of time in this video, um, try to go through this a little bit quicker rather than opening each one and testing it for you. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to open these and show you on camera uh, what's in there, if, it, if it's going to work or not, if it's damaged. Uh, definitely let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I'll just kind of show you and, and move on pretty quickly. The new Call of, newer Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, is it in there? That's the question. Is it broken? That's the other question. Here we go. Oh, that scared me. I looked there first and it wasn't in there. There we have it. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I don't think this has a ton of value. I don't, I don't even know for sure. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, this is an actual Apple product. Ooh. Wireless charging case for AirPods. Is this just the case? I don't, I don't think this has AirPods in it. Please have AirPods in it. That would be insane. Ready? I don't think it does, but let's find out together. Nope. That's cool. I bet you this is this an actual Apple product. It's not some knockoff. You can always tell by this insert. If it says that, it's pretty much... Uh, Apple product. I wonder what this is worth. Let's find out. I bet you this is minimum of 50 bucks. Because Apple stuff is way overpriced. It's amazing products, but man, they're overpriced. Yeah, it's pretty close. Um, about 40, 40 dollars used. 60 dollars brand new. So I was right on actually. So that's pretty cool. Apple, Apple stuff. That is amazing. It's a pretty cool thing if you're a gamer. Ready? Astro A10 headset, Call of Duty edition. I'm just gonna go, to, it was falling apart in my hand, so I'm just gonna go, to, go and check it out real quick. Are you kidding me? Please tell me that's just the bottom and it's not missing. Okay, so it's definitely used. Which is okay. Your stuff still sells for great money. Wow. That's... That's dumb. So, we have a professional blender. These are about 60 to 100 bucks. Well, watch this. 100% empty. Not a single thing in this box. Why would they put that on here at all? It's literally an empty box. 
That is disappointing. Yeah, nothing. Styrofoam only. That's another probably 40 to 50 bucks just vanished because who knows why. But that's that's just part of doing this. I mean, sometimes you're going to get empty boxes. You're going to get $200 routers that are swapped and it's worth basically no value at all. All right, here's a Nutribullet Pro. These are pretty good. And you know what? This is factory sealed. See the box got damaged there? That's the reason why it's on this pallet because it got damaged probably in the back room. So yeah, this is being brand new in the box is great. These are about, the Pro models are, I think they're around a hundred bucks each and there's two of them, if that one's sealed as well. The two seals are not there. And it's kind of just taped shut, but it feels like it's nicely packed in there. So also just the original one. This one's not even the pro. So this one's probably worth about 40 to 50 if it works. Oh, yes. I see something in there that I'm going to love. These are only about 30 to $40 new. It's not a big item. One good thing about these, I'll open it up and you can tell instantly if these have been used because they never come clean, perfectly clean if they've actually cooked rice. Oh, cool. An Amazon Fire 8 tablet. Man, this, this has some good stuff on it. So the screen isn't shattered. Appears to be in good condition. Let's see if it powers on. Most likely just completely dead. But yeah, I mean that's probably at least 50 bucks if it works. Eight inch Amazon? Heck yeah. That is awesome. There's just a little crock pot, not much value in crock pots. Maybe $20. Once again, I can open it and you can tell right away if these have been used or not. Stuff like that, I, I, I'll sell in like a garage sale or Facebook or what I really need to have reopen is a flea market. The stuff I have in this garage would sell like crazy at a flea market. <laughs> Jensen, extremely cheap brand. Just a portable CD player radio. This is probably worth like maybe $20 if it's all there. Here's what I meant by completely random. <laughs> Some kind of kids. I think it's, might be Doc McStuffins. I don't know, some kind of kids play uh, doctor set. Looks brand new though. Yeah, it is brand new. It's got like a little thing you have to open there. This, this my, my niece might like this, so I might just give that to her. It's probably not worth much, maybe $10. Now the thing I got excited for for a second was that. And it might still be that. I don't know. I didn't see it. But then I saw a wireless charging case. So I'm thinking this is just the case again. However, it is an app, an Apple. However, it is an actual Apple product. Let's peek in this again. <gasps> no, it's the freaking pros. Score. Oh, yes. It's actually in there. Are you kidding me? I thought this was just the case. Hell yeah. No freaking way. I guess it's just saying the case is wireless and charging. These, I believe these are the $250 brand new models. Oh my God, that is amazing. I might even keep these. I cannot believe I just got some Apple EarPods Pro. Holy cow. I will definitely be testing these as soon as I get inside. 
please work. I'm probably going to keep them if they sound good. That is insane. Holy shoot. Here's <laughs> more Apple products. Wow. They're just, uh, just earphones. These are probably, I think these are like 30 bucks each, maybe new. They're not very expensive, but freaking Apple products. Come on. I'll take these all day. Here's a Polaroid zip mobile printer it has a hundred dollar price tag on it. I don't think they go for a hundred anymore because I've sold lots of little mini printers like this. This is not the item I was talking about. There's one more item that I'm excited to get to, and you will be too. This is just a cheap uh, Turtle Beach headset. It might be worth ten dollars. Here we go, guys. I hope it's in there. I'm excited. I'm not even gonna look until I show you. Well, I know what it is, but we're gonna open this together. Ready? A freaking Apple Watch. <laughs> Which model is this? Series 5. Are you kidding me? Space Gray 44 millimeter. Oh my God. That's Wait, I have to open it. Please be in there. It feels heavy, so it feels like it's in there. I was not expecting Apple products. Oh, I can't even. I'm almost slightly shaking because I'm just so excited for this. It's, I think it's in there. Here we go, please. Because someone could easily steal this tiny part and most people wouldn't even know. Come on, open. <laughs> Here we go. Please don't be missing. Yes. Yes. Wow. Is this thing new? That thing's still perfectly wrapped up. And I'll say this again. If this was returned, this would not in any way, shape, or form be wrapped back up nicely like this if it was used. Wow. I think I think my Apple Watch, I think I only have the four. <laughs> so I might keep this. Wow. I... Ugh. I am so freaking, that box was so freaking good. Holy crap. Freaking Apple Watch, are you kidding me? We haven't even dented this palette, and I guarantee I already have my money back. That is so amazing. Thank you, Direct Liquidators. Did I really just get all that in that box? This little box probably had a thousand dollars worth of stuff. Whew. With that Apple Watch, I'm kind of thinking these two pieces are going to be good. I'm hoping. Holy crap. I can't even talk. Get another box that's just like the other one. Hopefully, it's got the same type of stuff. say that it does not but that doesn't mean it's gonna be bad stuff here's a serta double high mattress with integrated pump so that's cool definitely been used this guy used their medical tape to seal it but as long as there's not a hole and it's not dirty then it shouldn't be a problem most people buy these for a trip or like a weekend vacation they buy it they use it and then they just return it because they can it was just a cool mist humidifier. It's funny, I actually have the same one inside I've had for years. And I tried to use it the other day and it makes a loud sound now whenever I turn it on. So I'm gonna wind up throwing that one away. So I might even use this, or this will be a Facebook item. Probably put 20 and sell it today. Oh my God, I may have lied. I didn't see what was under there. Yes. 
if if it's what I think it is. I don't even know why I'm picking this up. This is garbage compared to what what that is. So this is just a ooh, it's a DVD player that upscales. Whew. High 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 technology. Just kidding. It's not even a Blu-ray. So this is probably worth like maybe twenty dollars. Uh, I think I know what that is. We'll get to that last. There's only three things in here. Another Turtle Beach. Just a cheaper headset. It might, it might be worth about 20 bucks. Ah, another baby monitor. Cool. These sell really good and quickly. eBay, Facebook, anywhere. This is probably worth 40 or 50 bucks used. Here we go. One more item. And I think you're gonna like it if it's what I think it is. What does that look like so far? Oh, what does that look like? Uh, AirPods, baby. Come on, be in there. Here we go. Hell yeah. <laughs> Definitely used, which is fine. If they work. Another pair. This is the regular AirPods. I think Series 1. But regardless, that's got some good value to it. Look at the cable that was returned with it, though. Look how used and old that is. That's weird. This is probably not. I'm just going to throw this cable away. It's even ripping there. That's really weird. Another freaking pair of AirPods. I cannot believe it. I think I called the first one the EarPods because I was so excited. Guys, there's so much more on this pallet. There's three big boxes. I'm praying that those are full of electronics like that. Holy cow. Ooh, this could be a good box too. This box, this pallet is a little bit of everything. this box and then we'll, we'll test out this Vizio TV. Here's a Vizio TV that I would, that money, it doesn't work. Oh yeah. I can see even at an angle. I don't know if you guys can pick up on it, but looks like it's dented in there a little bit. This may have been a, a store model. I mean, it might work. I doubt it, but we'll find out in just a little bit. Let me pull this box over. Whoa, okay. Good save, huh? That would have sucked if it was not broken and <laughs> I make it fall. This one's 100% been opened. We'll get to this right after we do this nice box. Looking good then. <laughs> Can you say random? Kind of a good looking light though. If you like gold, I don't, but yeah, a little bit like a bend there. Here's a familiar non friend Hamilton Biatch. See Hamilton Biatch. <laughs> Um, I get these on my Amazon return piles all the time. And how, this, I mean, this one's a decent. It's probably worth about 60 to 80 new. So I'll have to open it up and see if it's ever been used. And this would be a Facebook item as well. Probably a good 30, 40 bucks though. An Altec Lansing, you know, portable radio. These aren't super expensive. This It's probably about 40 to 50 bucks, which is good. Because I've, I've had the small model and it's like 20 to 30, so can't see this being less than 50 new that is but yeah that's that's a cool item be easy to test another pair of those astro a10s once again probably 20 to 30 on facebook really easily here's just a little extension cord i will definitely be keeping that for myself 
Always need those. A dual mobile DVD system. These aren't that expensive anymore, but I say if it works easily, what, 30 probably? Stereo cassette player, oh my God. Do people use these anymore? Here's some skull candy earbuds. I've gotten these before. They're about they're about 50 bucks brand new. So it's probably worth to me about 20 if, if everything goes good. Oh, heck yeah. I've been dreaming about getting stuff like this. Wow. Reynolds wrap, guys. Oh my God, three of them. Are you kidding me? Oh, one's up and up, Brandy. Are you joking? That is amazing. Oh, it just keeps getting better and better. No, but I'll just... <laughs> another thing I'll just keep for myself. Every time I need that stuff, I don't have it. Here's a mega cheap, mega cheap pair of Turtle Beach headset. I mean, that might be worth... Might be worth $10. Maybe. HDMI to USB-C adapter. Not sure if I'll ever need that. PSI bands, mama. Relief of nausea. Yeah, I'm sure those were good. No idea, that can't be much money. Maybe $10. Little tiny fan. I could use that right now, shoot. Uh, might, might be 10 bucks new. Oh cool, another game. That was the same one, right? Modern Warfare, I think. And it's in there, that's cool. I honestly don't remember if this is the same exact one I put over there. I think it is. Modern, I think that's the one. 10 bucks. Totally fine. A couple more items in here. One more that I know is pretty. No, a few items. Oh, a freaking cell phone. <laughs> ZTE Blade Vantage 2. It's in there too, and it looks brand new. It's got all the, the wrap and everything. This is probably another case where it got damaged in the store. Nice. Stuff like this sells really. Good. Um, that one actually has the barcode covered, but I'll look this up later. But here's a pop socket and visual invisible collection. So you see it pops out and then it's invisible. That one's, that one's pretty cool. So you stick that to the back of your phone and then it doesn't do anything because somebody stole it, so it's invisible. I'll be here all week, guys. I know these are good. Uh, Nintendo Joy-Cons, the left and right. I think these, I think these are like 60 bucks. New. Pink and green, pretty cool. Oh, someone probably did the good old swap -a The whole entire uh, rubber part is missing on that. But regardless, even for parts, this is still, I'd say probably still 20 to 30 bucks all day. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That's all I'm, wow. Just peeking on that one over there, it's, it's, wow. This is a fantastic palette. Sometimes you get good ones like, like this one, the one I showed you earlier with like shelf stickers and tags and risers. That could be worth a ton of money. I don't know. But I love electronics and this is not letting me down at all. Let me just take a quick peek in here. So this, this box looks like it's more random. It's got some clothing. 
stuff like that. Oh wow, what is that? Okay, these are gonna be good too. I might have to make this a part two because that this is already a very long video, I think. An hour? Alright guys, I'm gonna end this one right here. Just the half the palette was amazing. If these TVs work, this would be a grand freaking slam. So wish me luck. Do me a favor, like and subscribe. Time to make some lunch, and then I'll be right back out to tackle the rest of this palette, which I will record. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. I sure as hell am. Have an awesome day. Stay safe out there. See ya.